Case D560076, Mary Ann Colt, Alyssa Plummer. Counsel, your appearance and bar number. Good morning, Your Honor. Mark Anderson, bar number 606, appearance for Attorney Kurt Smith with the plaintiff who is present. Same firm. Are you retained? Yes, Your Honor. Swear the parties in before we begin. Please raise your right hand. Do you and each of you solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give in this action shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so hold about it? I do. Who else is present in court? Is DFS here? Yes. Tianta Daly from Java Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear. I got a heater going on here. Tianta Daniel. Tianta yes. Daniel? Yes. I can spell Daniel, but how do you spell Tianta? T-Y-O-N-T-E. Very good. Come on up, man. You can be right there at counsel's table, yeah. All right. Are you the specialist assigned to the case? Yes, I am. Not the supervisor, though? No. Okay. And um, we made a request to appear. I appreciate you coming on very short notice. Normally the DA also was here, Amity Dorman, but she said she couldn't make it. Okay. All right, but uh, at any rate, um, we have a motion here uh, that's filed by the paternal grandmother, so I think you know everybody in the family tree here. The most recent allegations in, um, that I've read in the CPS records, which we do have a copy of, and um, you have a copy for counsel? I would give that to counsel on a gag order, confidential, uh, meaning grandma can't have a copy, but mom want to get her own copy, she's going to have to go to DFS office and order it herself. Okay, um, let me ask the uh, the moving party, which would be Attorney Anderson here, um, what do you know, and then I can get some information from DFS, what they know regarding, unless you want me to go ask DFS first, uh, any potential criminal cases that have, or charges that have been filed. Who, if you worked with any Metro detectives, the allegations are burn mark on the child that was seen at Southern Hills Hospital, I believe. There are event numbers that they cite to where I guess no DFS records indicate that. So I want to know if charges are going to be filed. And um, they haven't finished the final NIA summary about any impending danger. Um, but right now they're they've had trouble contacting either mom and the subject minor as well. You want me to hear from DFS first? What they Whatever know? the board's preferences. I think they're the ones with kind of the more inform most information. All right, did we give you the records, counsel? No, I called Friday I just handed and, it to you. Uh, it's right there. Message. That goes to counsel. Yeah. Yeah, these are updated. You can get it, counsel. Yeah, if you read the last page, they're working on the NIA summary. All right, uh, Ms. Daniel, would you please bring, uh, just provide an informational update? Yes, I have been able to meet with um, both mom, grandma, and as well Preston. Okay, um, since the report. The, since the yeah. reports, yes, I have made contact with both. And uh, although I'm still assessing for impending danger, I have not um, been able to find any maltreatment or to suggest that, uh, that Preston was burned. Um, based on the, the pictures and the evidence that I have so far. And uh, did you obtain the records from Southern Hills? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay. okay. And they do note that there was burn marks. On the yeah. Did you, ma'am, hold on. Did you talk to the Southern Hills? Who I did you talk to? I spoke with the nurse. Um, I spoke with the nurse from Southern Hills Hospital. Is that how you were called out, mandatory reporter? Or? Um, no, I received a report. Um, Yes, that is how I was. That's how we received it. Okay. Understanding of the hospital. Okay, duly noted. Um, have you talked with any Metro people? Um, I've spoke. I have a copy of the police report, and I also spoke with um, someone that from the abuse and neglect team. Okay. I believe Metro I've, had CSI out um, taking photographs of the child. Okay. Um, as of today, do you know which way the NIA is going to come out to be. You're still gathering information? Yeah. Okay. And as how long? As, as of right now, me talking to Preston and me taking my own pictures and photos of yeah. Preston, meeting with him several times and speaking with his principal and people at school and other people that know him, um, I have not found anything to remove Preston from his mom's care to show there was any present danger. And likely no petition in the abuse neglect court would be filed. It's my understanding, Preston, also yeah, told the right. police on uh, Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm getting their position and what they're anticipating. I, I okay, any mother information, then I'm going to talk to the lawyer. Okay. And then no, I'll talk to mom. No, that's all that is 
I appreciate that. You don't need to hang around unless you have questions, well, either of you. Well, again, I think... President if you have Mayor, questions of DFS, otherwise we're going to argue the motion. I think Preston has also indicated that he had his toes smashed by his mother. Do you have questions of DFS? Because she, she got to go run to other courts. That inquiry as to whether there's been other abuse, including smashing his toes with a rock. Smashing he, toes with a rock? She indicated it happened recently. Uh, August 11th. Has, has Preston said anything to me about that? No. No. Okay. Anything else? Yeah. Mom, do you have any questions of DFS? Oh, no, she's wonderful. Okay. Thank you. I, we don't want to keep you. Oh, this you. Is, we might be a bit. Okay. But I don't have all morning. So I've read all the paperwork. I've gathered the CPS records. I've uh, asked DFS to come to court. And um, as far as DFS, my gut feeling is they're not going to um, find substantial evidence to warrant any filing of any petition. And they don't um, deem and Metro that. Metro is investigating this as well. No, that's a separate matter, obviously. And so, what they do is they work together, and then they're going to submit it. And maybe the DA will review it and determine whether charges would be filed or not. So I have to wait on that as well. well so you, you have, have to... a you both of you can go talk whoever to whoever the Metro detective is. I think it's Kegley. Kegley, yes. Cheryl Kegley with a C. K-E-G-L-E-Y. You'll find it in the DFS Records Council, so we may await that. But while I am awaiting that, I need to know if any temporary modifications should be in place. Because right now, I think they have shared custody. Well, no. and she's not honoring this court's order. She did not turn over the child for grandma and speak. Well, that could be another issue. I think and we're going to have like... We're going to have like two dozen issues here, but for purposes right. of today... I will have another hearing down the road for status check on Metro, but any Metro report, orders, any orders, final orders. updates from DFS, but in the meantime, what are you requesting? We're requesting a temporary change of custody, putting Preston in protective care of his grandmother, uh, even though CPS has not yet substantiated these allegations. I think part has to err on the side of caution. You have pictures of the child having a burn mark on his back. He's taken to the hospital on September 21st, the same day Grandma discovers those burn marks. They make a referral to CPS. They diagnose the burn. And there's no reason this child should be burned. When we look at Mom's prior history, her prior history of mental health issues, legal 2000 holds, domestic violence against uh, Sure. I will tell you right now in the DFS records, if you read it, so they asked him who burned you, and he said mommy. But a DFS <laughs> worker has taken taken her own pictures and interviewed mom and the child. She did not interview grandma, or initially she, she did. She did interview me. Okay. okay. Continue. And again, I think just the fact that the child has indicated that his mother burned him is sufficient to raise the need to put this child in protection until the final trial can be heard because again the Are abuse you? goes beyond just um, the burn and again he did also relate that his uh, toes had been smashed with a rock by his mother Happy and my time. client went to court. see the mother in the child the told grandma that but she just no, the child told the police she forgot that. to say that right okay the child, the child told okay. police that you'll get your turn mom and Again, mom has a history of abuse of this child. Well, I've been on the I've been on this case since day one. Okay. When the father was still around, obviously, I know about the legal two thousand before. We had a court hearing on that. And I'm just saying that that background yeah. certainly weighs and gives credence to the present. What case. else you got? You got burn marks. You got smashing toe with rocks. Did Who's you say there was another recent legal two thousand? We got. He, he does have scars on his back. Yeah, from well, I've got abuse. that. But is there anything else? Well, again, this is an issue. Marian, please. Uh, we have two recent hospitalizations uh, which raised concerns. One time she, I believe, expressed that she took five Tylenol and woke up in the hospital. Did Since the last time we were in court? When was the last time we were in court? I'm aware of that. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
and since then she had another hospitalization uh, where it, around August 10th. When was the last time you her? She had broken ribs. Now she's trying to say that she fell off the so pole. Oh, we we believe that yeah, in fact 10th. this is further domestic abuse in her. Was own it illegal 2000, the August no, 10th? Um, I, I don't know that we have the evidence to make that. Okay, well, I'll hear from Mom on that. It certainly raises concerns um, that right. uh, all, all add up to. And, and again, okay. this child, Mom has withheld this child on several occasions, including this weekend. Since the last time we were in court? Right, and right at the time that the burn came up. And the obvious implication is she's withholding the child so that the burn wouldn't be discovered by Grandma. The hospital did say when they looked at the burn that they appeared to be two to five days old, which would have been time. So Grandma actually missed her care. time? She did. How many days did she miss? Two. This weekend, that's it. Mary, Mary. Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. What about prior? One day, a Friday. Four days prior, and again. Well, Friday to Sunday is two days, She's, and then one day. One day prior, and, and the court or one day called, later, you've already found her day. contempt for not following the court's order. Gave her a chance to purge it, and now she's admitting that she's continuing to violate this court's order. What did Mom say? Um, why uh, she was not going to turn over the kid to her? The, for, the one wait, the wait, wait! I'm asking Grandma. Right. You're getting your chance. I'll go she, over all of this with I you. you she she yeah. tried to turn the tables around and say Grandma was abusing uh, the child. She just basically married Grandma's allegations. It was again. She doesn't have the ability. To like what specifically, Marianne? She said that I burned Preston and not her, but the doctor said it was a three to five day old burn. Mark. You, she, she accused you of burning the child. Right, and I had him for three hours. I took him to uh, the hospital Friday, September twenty first. We left the hospital September. 22nd, Saturday morning at 12.15 Okay, I don't know in the records, the it says records. at the bottom of the uh, hospital that mom, police report, that mom, mom pointed the finger at you? Yeah. Right, so mom turned it around on me. That's she, why she doesn't want me to see Preston, because she want, doesn't want me to know about the abuse, and he's turned into a bag of bones. And when, she your, doesn't feed him. and when your house smoke? I, I smoke, but I don't smoke in the house. I smoke outside the house. Okay. And she's filing this TPO, not only against uh, paternal grandmother, but also against paternal aunt, which is just vindictive. Paternal aunt, uh, I don't see any TPOs filed. Well, let me right see. Ahead. Wait a minute. I'm in the wrong case here. Uh, okay. That have been issued to my knowledge. Uh, just to uh, summarize, because I've read all your paperwork. So legal, so physical, temporary supervised visitation, pending any yes, your status. Got it. And attorney's case. fees, obviously. Okay. Let me hear from mom. All right, the very first day that she missed was because it was the weekend before he had to go to school. It was the only day my mom could take him to go get clothes and stuff, and I was in the ICU. Uh, the uh, rod on the curtain... Wait, 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 back up. Why were you in the ICU? The rod on the curtains, so my curtains, they broke off, so I stepped up on top of my you son's fell, broke chest, a couple and ribs. I fell down on I read the that. Person. Okay. It, it, it uh, punctured my lung, and it collapsed this lung. That's why I was in the ICU. But it was whose weekend? Whose time was it? It was her weekend. But yeah. Okay, since since the last time we, we were in this courtroom, I've given her a whole week. Um, because of that day, I've given her three extra weekends since then. Because she missed that one day, I gave her two extra weekends. The only reason why she missed that day was because my mom took him to the, dog, to the store to get him close to school. That's it. Why can't grandma do that? Paternal grandma. Because she doesn't want to help it's me. Her She's day. not helping me. My, this is paternal. Did you I just did. assume that, or did you ask her? I did. In fact, I had text messages. She said she was going to help out. She never did. She yeah. never sent the list to help. She's talking about. Okay. Okay. I have right here. I, so I have you allegedly here. denied paternal grandma her court-ordered time because you wanted your mom to go take the kid for shopping for clothes. No, no, I was in the ICU. My mom would have had one day, and we, uh, me, she even agreed, it's on my mom's text messages, that it was okay that she would get an extra whole weekend. So she got that. Like a trade? Started. Yeah, we traded the weekend. Do you have that one text? Mom, you have it. That was in the form of... Uh, okay. yeah, there is no text. 
Stop okay, hang on. I'll, re I'll let you reply, but hang on. Okay. All right. Well, she got, she's now, two extra weekends more importantly, uh, she got you got a call two. from DFS, CPS? Yes. yes. Okay. Anything you want to say about that? Oh, Did absolutely. you accuse grandma of the burn because marks? I, when I, when I found, the only reason why I even knew about this is because I read, I have blotchy skin. So the little marks that she he's got on him, I thought that's what it was. Grandma uh, thinks you hid the kid from her because you I wanted to let the burn marks heal. Then why did you get him that weekend that you... Don't talk to her. Talk to her. Talk to her. She got, I didn't take him... Uh, the, the day that uh, she missed, the one day that she missed, was all the way on the 15th of September. No, that was the August of September. No, it wasn't, because it was September. Okay. The burn was, marks, the burn and the, marks. The only other time she missed was this past two weekend. Weeks prior to okay, no. Mom says September 15th, DFS came out six days later on September 21st, so that kind of makes sense with the timing. Yeah. That's the weekend that she missed, right? Yeah, the, the report of the burn okay. was September 21st. Huh? The report of the burn. Was discovered by Grandma on September 21st, taken to the hospital at same Yeah, day. and the weekend and before she missed the visits. She oh, missed yeah. two weeks before. I had two weeks before September 21st that she'd seen yeah. the child. When do you think he was burned? Well, three to five days prior to Grandma discovering that's what the doctor said. Okay. So, obviously, it appears that she's what's all in the All right, crowd, Mom, crowd. Uh, did oh. you smash his toe with rocks? Absolutely not. I would never hurt my okay. son. Did you, uh, so the, and you went to the hospital not for illegal 2000, but because of the because cracked ribs? Yes. I've got a picture of the burn marks. And, and she knew that because she showed up to the hospital and brought me dead flowers and laughed okay. and said, oh, you in the I see you. And she said, oh, you're in the hospital. Well, here's the thing. Really the well, here's the, thing. the lawyer up. will want to get your medical records to prove the. I already gave you. I filed it with my, my reply. That's just the discharge kind of summary. It tells you how That's to take care of yourself. I also got the medical records. From the doctor, the yeah, do you have a HIPAA release? Because no, we're going to no. get her southern, where'd you go? Well, hospital. We southern Hills, where he, she, she okay. states that, that, um, that Preston told the doctor, that's not what it says right here. Okay. That's not what it says. Well, we get a lot of... She changed the report. Whoa, no, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, nice. you're going to sign for the uh, medical records. If it's confidential, you can... The lawyer can go get them, but they will be sent directly to my office. That's fine. Okay, Absolutely. and then we'll put everybody on a confidential gag order to review the records in my chambers up in the third Are floor. To uh, the lawyer will have to give you the, well, whatever you filed didn't we'll tell me tonight. much other than that no, you no, no, were there. No, no, I just got these on Friday. Give me a copy, give one to the lawyer. Okay, hang on, Martin will get it. All right, well, maybe, we'll take a look at this. All right, we'll keep these confidential counsel. <laughs> these are progress notes. All it says is that, Mar that Preston told Marianne that I burned him. It doesn't say that I... That he oh, no, that. this is what I was talking about. I need your records to sh about your cracked ribs. Oh, that's right here. Okay, I, I let me see what you got on. Just All a right. discharge summary. And that's fine. I can, I can sign it, but uh, that's fine. Okay. I have nothing to hide. So part of the well, if it's not cigarette burn... Does it, everybody saying here it's cigarette burn, but nobody will say who, who did the cigarette burn? Oh, I, my son told me that he's been she's been burning him and she's telling him to say that it was me. Also has been cutting his leg with a knife, um, and I did file a TPO. And why would Grandma um, I, I'm, not I'm be gonna, the I'm going to err on the side okay. of caution. And Hang I'm on, Mr. Anderson. i this woman ever again. Okay. You will have to force me. I'm sorry. I will go to jail. <laughs> I also have here, these are mess text messages between me and the teacher. That I'd like to show. I'll that. take them, that's fine. Thank you. What, okay. what is this, Your Honor? I don't know, but you know, she's just giving me stuff. They're here, so you're you don't have your medical records for the cracked ribs. I, I do. I, I filed them. The discharge summary. That's all I have. I don't have What's, the actual records. Why are you giving me these teacher texts? Because those text messages are from his teacher. And? And what, what he tells his teacher. Excuse me, the dates are incorrect on this, first of all. No, they're not. Okay, hold on, hold on. Don't argue in the courtroom. What He's Preston is telling her? Yes. And what did he tell the teacher, He's supposedly? Telling, He's telling the teacher that I know. Um, whenever he goes to her house, the, 
The weekend said he goes to her house. When she, he comes back, he acts up in school. He says that... Grandma he, gives him chocolate. Gives him chocolate if he pretends like he can't spell his name, can't do his ABCs, and if he hits other kids in school. Yeah, we have no That's authenticity true. as to any of those. We don't have the I'll alleged declarant. Yeah, do it. Fine. But that's, yeah. They're not helpful today. Yes, it well, is. all I read is chocolate. I'm not going to be impressed about Grandma giving him chocolate. I don't. And... I'm vegetarian, vegan. You and stay if, healthy. If I give mom him really believes yeah, like that this okay, is okay. showing that he's not a bag of bones. Scratch his okay. legs. Why isn't she the one going to the police and see kids? I have a police report right Where's now. the child now? He is uh, safe. That's not an answer. Yeah. I am not giving up my child When was again. the last time? She's just I'm the air on the side of the and you can put me in jail. Never you might be child heading child. that way if you're going to keep the girl yes. talking like that. I'm not going to let her burn my kid. That demeanor, if I you're not going to err on the side of caution, I will. Then why was the D side. DFS looking at you, not Grandma? Why well, was she on my side? Hmm? Why is she on my side then? Why isn't what? she over she there with her? Because you don't get your way? No. Excuse DFS me? looked at I'm you. Not, I'm not going to let her burn my kid. No way. Okay. Your Honor, I, I have, have the pictures. picture if I can approach and show the burn. Yeah, you burn him. You're evil. Approach, Your Honor? Ma'am, I'm going to caution you about the way you're talking in the courtroom, okay? Excuse me, I have a big burn mark. That's not like a pimple? No, it's burned. And how do you know it's a burn? Are you a dermatologist? Was this taken on uh, a Oh, ma'am, don't argue with the lawyer, please. No, she's burning me, kid. And we know that's burned, Your Honor, because the hospital said it was no, you, and it was hospital. grandma that took him to the hospital. His grandma took him to the hospital. And the, and the records that mom she gave me. Be the, one to the, the records that mom gave me says primary impression child abuse. Second and the child told. Second impression. Child told CPS that his mother burned. Him. So that, can we hear the side caution that, that she might have burned him and told him to say that? That's not airing on the side of the caution. You how come, how come it, it, she doesn't talk anything about me smashing his feet? Now this just comes up in court, but doesn't come up with the I can't have both of you talking at the same time. Well, I thought it was my turn. So this is what Mom is saying. This is, sounds kind of wild, but yeah. that she's saying that well, who had the kid three days? If they was the impression that they're saying that. The burn looked like it was three days old. Grandma just picked him up that day on the 21st. So, and seen him for two weeks. How could mom accuse grandma of burning a kid three days prior if she didn't have the kid? Because mom the day she got the kid, she brought the kid to the hospital. The kid was in your care three days prior. I also have witnesses okay. and a camera at the pool showing that that mark was not on his back before he left my care. Do you have that picture? No, I don't, but I can go subpoena the HOA. <laughs> Again, we, are, <laughs> I had three we need to protect this child this that day. I thought you'd give that picture to DFS already by now. It's, 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 okay. a, it's a camera. Now, uh, I know I'd let DFS go, but what was the conversation with you with DFS saying they're going to close out the file? That she, that she doesn't think that I would ever do that or my child wouldn't be in my care right now. She hasn't. And with the pictures? Did DFS say anything she, about she that? She wants me to take pictures every single time she he leaves my care when, before he goes to the DFS has already found Grandma had nothing to do with this part. Their level she and standards of um, impending danger is different than this court, obviously. Right. And have to weigh um, if there's enough circle, if there's enough adequate, not substantial, but adequate evidence to go forward on an evidentiary hearing, obviously, on custody. We already have one set in February. We already have one set? Yep. Child's in danger. But in the meantime, should not they're be seeking burned. orders. That's why you won't get him back. What do you know about Metro? Um, it, uh, the detective uh, I've left messages, but they haven't uh, called me or come Nobody to has me. contacted. Not one time. Metro come out. They sent CSI to take the photos. Take an investigation. And that was yeah, I've got conflicting reports here because DFS saying they're going to close the case out. Metro's going to do what they're going to do. They have to have a DA review on that. We've got event numbers, Metro active investigation. Yeah, subpoena Metro to the next court hearing? We have to, Yarn. Might be a good idea.
That Cheryl Kegley, is she the detective? No, it was two males. Two males? Yes, ma'am. You want to bring them to the next hearing? They wouldn't be sending CSI out if they didn't have a grave concern for this child's welfare. That's their job they have to. <laughs> they, don't, they don't do it on every case. They do it when there's smoke, or there's smoke, there's fire. Okay. And you've got you know mom, okay, hang on. I'm still saying, with mom. I'm still with mom. Yeah. All right, and I'll let you finish up. Yeah. So um, when they filed this, uh, the plaintiff's emergency motion for modification of temporary custody, they swear up and down that I was on another legal hold 2000. Okay, until I filed another, uh, my opposition, where she knows that I didn't have a legal hold 2000. She came to the ICU with dead flowers, smiling, saying, oh, you must be bad. And that's when she filed this motion and got an attorney. She, she, when I filed, filed my opposition and, and, and put there that I would, my ribs were broken, I went and confronted her. And the minute that I confronted her, she said, oh, well, you were. You tried to kill yourself again. I said, what did I do? I grabbed a rock and tried to break my ribs on purpose. Seriously, who would do that, okay? That's when she burned my child and then tried to say that it was me. She's trying to make abuse. It doesn't make sense to me, though. The child... That she would make abuse? The, the <laughs> records that I've been presented with today indicate that the child, the burn was three days old. Is I think that's in the record. Absolutely. Where? Where does it say that in that paper that I just gave to you? It's in the summary of the records. That's what they said. That's what she said. If the burn was three years old and they looked at you and Grandma swears up and down that she didn't have the kid three days prior, the question is where did the burn come from? This is, it, okay. it was not any kind of infection. It well, wasn't some kind of. Can we on the side of caution and let my child come in here and say this piece it? before you allow him to go over there and get burned? I again? wasn't there, ma'am. I just read the That's records. That's why I'm asking you to err on the side of caution. Your child was but asked. Let's recess till tomorrow. I will bring my son in here and you can ask him yourself. Child's already okay. told CPS mom burning. That's because her purpose. Because she was there. And if that was true, then how come my son is still in my care? That's up for the court today. Yes, please. Let's bring him in. Do you have the extra copy of the DFS records? Yeah, I've got a conflict with DFS saying they're not going to substantiate against mom. It's a different well, standard, obviously, and then right. you are I pursuing you child abuse. Many claim. cases where CPS did substantiate. And later the child is substantially harmed. Uh, no. But as to this specific here. one, the only thing I see here is the record. It says three-day-old burn, and Grandma didn't have the child. Now, if Mom jumped up and down and said Grandma burned the child, why didn't DVFS? You've also got the child telling CPS. Well, DFS did contact Grandma, but she wasn't the subject of the investigation. Absolutely. But there's no but problem. But DFS is going to about to close their case out. Hmm. Do you have an extra on I thought they were going to bring them down. No, never mind. If we can recess okay. till later today, I'll go get her from school. No. Uh, I'm going to take a five minute recess because I'm going to review. All right, uh, since I was asking my clerk about the TPO, the court makes a finding that the TPO was denied, number one. Uh, number two, I've reviewed the CPS records. Uh, the finding for purposes of today is May that... Can I some comments? Because I had a chance to review them as well. Okay. And again, Your Honor, what, what I note in reviewing them is when CPS and Cheryl Kegley from Metro speak, uh, Ms. Cagley reports on September 26th that she knows that natural mother has a violent history as well as substantial CPS history in Vegas and in the state of Washington. She expressed high safety concerns as well as vulnerability for this child. And again, I think that hits it on the head. I reviewed that. That was in my law clerk's notes. Right. And okay. Yeah, after him. Hang on. The paternal aunt is present has substantial knowledge about what's going on. She's a federal government contractor, and she sees the child every time Marianne picks up the child. She's uh, present at the child she, exchanges? Well, she's yeah. brought the child brought back to her place. And um, what's her first name? Uh, Stacy. 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 Okay. Yes, ma'am. You don't have to keep raising your hand. I know you're present in the courtroom. 
No, I usually don't allow anybody in the gallery to, not until we go to trial, okay? Susan's the lawyer can Susan's. talk. The lawyer can talk. Thank you. There were burn marks seen back in January as well. And what uh, was the report for that? <laughs> Ma'am, I'm going to ask you not to interject. Okay. This behavior that you're seeing in court right now, I think, is substantial evidence. That gets Counsel, I've been concerned. on this case since day one. I'm aware of Mom's okay. behavior in court. The, the other th last point I'll, I'll make, right. the court has a heavy calendar today, is we have a declaration by her in court that she's not going to follow this court's order. But Grandma will not see this child. I'm aware of that as well. So, anything else? Anything new? I'm a, I, I think all that adds We up both reviewed the receipt DFS records. Okay, Mom, you want to briefly say um, something? Since, since uh, I broke my ribs, I want to add that I quit smoking. Okay. Um, that was back, uh, what, uh, two months ago I quit smoking? So, uh, she actually still smokes, by the way. Um, and also, if you know, every, every single time that I end up in court and, and I start to she's not winning, she calls CPS on me. So I do have a substantial CPS record. It's all unsubstantiated, but it's all from her. Four times she's called CPS on me just since her, since Sean died, all with false allegations. Now, today, we have new allegations. I hit his feet with a rock. How come that's not inside of the, how come that's not inside of the doctor's notes? How come you didn't say that to the doctors? How come uh, CPS has no, no recollection of this? Every single time we come in here, she makes up something new. And it's to make, make me look bad. Okay? I don't even smoke cigarettes. What did I do? Go and buy cigarettes just to burn him? That makes sense, Are right? you taking any other substances? Absolutely not. In fact, I just did a drug test for CPS on Friday. They asked you? Okay, I wasn't yeah. aware and of I that. have no reason to deny Was it a I urine test? Was it a urine test? Absolutely. Okay. All right. Very good. All right, number one. Well, Honor, we'd like to have her test today with care. Okay. No, I'm not. She, I absolutely have no problem with that, but I want to be uh, paid for my time and for make, being forced once again to cut my hair. I just did the drug test on Friday. It was a urine test, wasn't it? Yes. I okay, here, but it'll be a hair test. I want to be paid. All right, you've done the drug yeah. test before, so. I've done a drug test nine times. It's not going to cost. she continues to keep calling CPS on me over and over and over again. Okay. So you say you're going to come up clean on the drug test? I will. I'm absolutely clean. Well, Grandma wants to waste her $126. She can pay me $120 for forcing me to cut my hair again for the ninth, tenth time. Okay. It's not going to be. They take 120 strands from the back of your head, so I don't think it's going to be noticeable. No, I, okay. no I'm not going to keep. But we're talking about the safety head. of the child. Yes. Okay, I'm, I'm done. I'm, my, gonna to keep I'm going to make my ruling. Number one. TPO was denied when it was reviewed. Okay, we can talk about that later at the trial. Number two, the references in the DFS records that says that um, pages 19, 20, 24, obviously in other pages I see here. Things I just saw here is that uh, the notes indicate that the child had the injury on his back and he said that the mother burned him with a cigarette. Okay, then you go to the next page. It says here, Grandma has supposed to have Preston every other weekend, okay, um, and Grandma stated that Preston told her, said the injury was caused by mother's cigarette. Preston had not been, um, Preston has been in the mother's care for two weeks, so Grandma went two weeks without seeing the child? Correct. Okay. Preston told the source that the mother burns him with cigarettes. On source unable to say if the injury is a burn as it appears old and scabbed over. Um, my suspicion is that was the Southern Hills nurse, but every uh, all informants to DFS referrals are always confidential, so we never know who is the reporting person. But this, uh, my guess is it was the nurse. So the nurse, from my impression of the records in Southern Hills, said... It wasn't definitely burn. It kind of looks like a burn, but I can't say if it was a burn. Okay, so um, furthermore, the sort the uh, the source. Um, I'm sorry. Grandma stated that the mother was pulling Preston's ears, causing bruising. Grandma said she took pictures. Grandma stated that mother spanks Preston and steps on his foot. Preston appears fine, but his injury is suspicious for abuse and or neglect. Paternal grandma has to return Preston to 
uh, mother on September 23rd, but she was overheard stating that she is not returning him. DFS noted that grandma, there's a custody agreement that was put into place where grandma has every other weekend. Grandma is wanting full custody, and um, for purposes of today, I'm assuming mom wants full custody as well. Okay, you go on the next page. It says that child disclosed, child disclosed that his paternal grandmother caused his new injuries to include more marks that could be cigarette burns on his back, as well as it, as well as a one to two inch cut on his leg. As there are new injuries and the child, the child is stating his grandmother did it. Okay. I'm assuming that's referencing paternal grandmother because it's word paternal. What, what is the date of that? Your Honor? This will be a new. Re I know this is in page numbers, but I'm guessing it's page 24. What's the date? Because I suspect that was ten all two, the child was in mother's care. Ten to eighteen. Received time three o five p.m. If you put the PDF on your computer and do a word search, this will come up. Um, the ref. You could just. You can Google, I mean, do a word search for um, one to two inch cut on the leg. As there are new injuries and the child is stating his grandmother did it, this will be a new report but signed towards currently open central. Um, it, there's description on the next page. It says the one to two inch and described it as a searing, S-E-A-R-I-N-G. It looked like it could have been done with a very thin knife or a cat claw, according to the source. Preston was asked where he got the cut on his right leg above the knee, Preston said that grandma does it, but he doesn't say how. When he was asked why, he stated it's because she's evil. The mother didn't indicate when she first saw the marks on Preston. The, injury, the issues were presented to the source last week. The mother did indicate that there is a CPS case as the grandmother is stating the injuries occurred in the mother's home. Let me tell you my impression of this. DFS gets these all the time, obviously, when they're um, they get a lot of he said, she said, or a lot of she, she said, she said. Their impression is that both the females on each side of the courtroom here are making accusations um, against each other, obviously, and that they see this as a custody battle. And there's nothing determinable about the cigarette burn marks. Now, um, I'm getting it from both sides, basically. So my order, temporary ruling, is status quo. Pursuant to the order, Grandma would have the other, other every other weekend, so she had the weekend until the 23rd. This would be her weekend upcoming, I think, or she missed this her weekend. This was still her weekend. Last weekend. So wait a minute, 23rd, 30th, she would have had this past weekend, so we're going to switch that, and we're going to give her um, this weekend, which will be upcoming October 12th, and then you go every other from there. Second of all, um, her three days of compensatory time, that's going to be an issue on the table for a trial. Um, we will have a return here because I'm not done with the information gathering. You can, for purposes of the motion return here, you can subpoena Metro Council. You know how. Uh, Mom, I don't know who else you want to bring, but I will invite DFS to come back again. Uh, maybe they'll bring their attorney, the DA, if she's available, and I'm going to confirm if they're going to close out the case against you, if there's been any new changes, because it's an ongoing investigation. We'll hear from Metro, uh, unless Metro gives some kind of a email or a verbal, okay, about no case will be filed, then um, I would be acceptable to that if they contact um, DFS or make that kind of report, or make a report to you, counsel. All right, I wouldn't want to waste their time if they're saying, no, nope, we're not pursuing it. But I think the best way is to get them in the courtroom and say, you want to avoid the subpoena, just tell us your report. If it's just still ongoing, if you have anything to offer, and tell the judge. So status quo is the temporary order, basically. Grandma would have the other every other weekend. This is, again, this is this what DFS sees it. They see it as a custody battle. Both women are accusing each other. And the child is saying, Mommy did it, and the next day he's saying, Grandma did it. The records indicated here. Those are my findings for purposes of today. So Ms. The Palmer, child is five years old. He's impressionable. And um, the whole idea of, um, you know, I'm not dismissing it, the thought that uh, Grandma didn't have the kid for two weeks. Why would she, like, burn the kid and take the kid the same day to the hospital? She didn't have the kid for two weeks. The burn, and I couldn't find anywhere in the records 
on the when I was out there um, about three day old burn. They just call it a fresh burn, so we don't know. You know, said it was we don't know what. Yeah, it was scabbed over, and the Maybe nurse the next day, though. and the Southern Hills nurse said, "I'm not saying it's definitely a cigarette burn. It kind of looks like it, but just to err on the side of caution, we're going to make the report." DFS talked to Grandma. DFS talked to Mom. Apparently, DFS took the drug test. I didn't see that in the records, but if there is a result of the drug test, make that uh, a to do. We will get a copy of that drug test. Uh, Grandma, your request for mom to take the five-minute test up the street, same place at ATI, be granted. Grandma will prepay. We'll have to give you a head start to do the payment. You still want to do the test? All right, Can paternal you grandma will pay. Will pay for later? No. Yes, please. Stop. Both of you. Grandma yes, pays today. I'll have the results in 24 hours. The lawyer and mom can call for the results in 24 hours. Just call my office. So I can't do one of her. If there is a positive no test, why not? I will make a determination. This is my policy if I'm going to have a 72-hour return emergency hearing or not. Okay. Sorry, I can't do one of her. Um, there has to be a good reason. What? You mean her burning my child is not a good reason? <laughs> There's no determination. Drugs. We're talking about drugs. Somebody she being on drugs. Like I don't have one issue. Where, where's proof that's history? You show me proof. It's other than what she's saying. How yeah, is there proof that there's history? Look at all the CPS records, and there's never once I ever gave a dirty test. Not for you, not for anybody. Where is the proof that I have ever done drugs? Okay. Show me one just, piece of paper. You have I to want, listen. I want, you have to listen. And I listen. just want to understand. She understands. Wait, she has I'm talking to mom right now. Can you give me a little bit of proof why you want grandma tested? She loves she, my kid. She's cutting him with a knife. If that's not mentally or, or drug induced, I don't know what it is. She's bringing him, she's burning him, and then telling him to say that I did it. Do you have $126? Oh, I absolutely do. Oh, boy, okay. Well, you each pay the other. Well, Your Honor, again, we, we would object. There's okay, let me make findings you because you object. Okay, okay, I'm talking now. Let me make findings. Is there. Okay, let me make findings why Grandma will take a drug test as well, because I just don't do it just on bare accusations. There is a, a well, obviously, um, there's been history of drug allegations in the beginning of the case involving Sean, obviously. My impression is, is that Sean, um, if I recall, um, well, you say that, Grandma says I something. I gave you the death certificate. There, um, did it say? It, alcohol, it, alcohol, heroin, and cocaine. And on she the was the one that kept taking I didn't have that information that available at the time. Well, that I would be a reason. I, I filed it. I filed the okay. death certificate. Is Grandma um, going to come up clean on the drug test? Of course. Okay. All right. Um, well, I think we just put the matter to rest. And if she wants to waste $126... Let her waste the money. She's as already well. starving my grandson. Okay, it's a five minute test. You both do the hair and urine. Let me sign it. And I'll have the results for both of you in 24 hours. You will see your son this weekend. I switch the weekends and you'll go every other weekend from there. Counsel, because this you is mean an grandson. She will see her grandson. Grandson, yes, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> because this is a highly contentious case, you will walk through before this weekend, before Friday, a pickup order. Okay, I'm not saying mom will. I will not cooperate, but based on her statements in court, there will be a pickup order. And she will pick up from school. And That's when she gets them on Fridays, right? No, no, no. And again, yes. you're okay. on no. But she owes me extra time, so can I get um, I can't have you two come in contact with each other because it's really bad right My now. My mom is the one that does You guys it. went from last time in court saying you were talking and cooperating, you went from zero to 100. Yeah, and then I gave her an extra week and three extra weekends, and now, now Which I'm burning him. Okay, Come on. mom pays, mom <laughs> pays. <laughs> yeah, I, um, the best for both of you, so my advice is to stay away from each other, and you just have your time My mom is the one with that does You yeah. have, you have um, custody, ma'am, you have custody of Preston, mom ha grandma has visitation, every other weekend. She will start this weekend. I highly advise you cooperate. No. No, 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 no. You got to get them from school on Friday. 
Because mom that? won't be there. I'm going to order that mom not be there so that you don't have to come into contact with mom. Okay, and where is that, Your Honor? Now, on Sunday nights, you do have to come into contact with each other, right? So you I'll got have someone with me. I always have someone with me. Yeah, you can bring the um, your daughter. Turn on. One, no, oh, she has a TV on her, too. No, she no. doesn't come tonight. because of her. But I want you to pick up Preston on the Sunday night here in the lobby. Can we just do the exchanges here? Here. Yeah, I mean, yeah. on Fridays, and because she doesn't pick up No, school, like school is convenient, and he don't have to get in and out of a car twice. Grandma will just pick him up from school on Fridays. I don't want you will get him on Sunday night so he can get ready for school Monday morning. I heard what you said. If you, re if you refuse, she will have a pickup order. I'm not giving him over. She will. You put me in jail. I can't do that. Torture me, put me on a rack before I ever tell you where he is. Torture. You burned my child. So may we submit a And you said you cost. burned him, Mom, no, so. She she burned him. All right, we're not going to argue. Well, we're going to meet. Counsel, this is why I told you to get a pickup order. And can we just clarify where at school, what the school is? I think you need a specific order and a certified order to the school. Grandma doesn't know the school. That's what we need to clarify before we Okay. Who protects my child? If it protects my child, I'll go to jail. If she goes yeah. to jail, maybe the custody be placed. I heard what you said, Mom. But I'm making my orders that I'm leaving things the way they are. Yeah, I, I didn't take the kid away from you. I didn't take the kid away from Grandma. The kid does. The kid's five years old. He said Mommy did it. Then he said paternal Grandma did it. And my impression is DFS heard from both of you, spoke with the child a couple of times, and the child is saying Grandma and Mommy did it. So the child's too young, and DFS sees this as a custody battle, custody I just, case. I need the school identity. That's for why probably they're going to close the case true. out. There could be more with forensics. You know, they're uh, DFS. They're not. They got to do what they got to do. They give it priority, but they have supposed to have this forensic training, the DFS worker, and um, you'd have to leave it at that. Okay. Can, can I just have the right. the now, Metro is the other p agency that's going to look at it, but they have, they have, obviously they talk with DFS, and uh, D Metro will have to make their independent decision whether to refer that to the district attorney's office for um, felony child abuse charges. But I don't have anything before me today. I have a child saying in the records, Grandma did it, and you said Mom did it. Can, that's can why DFS is going to close their case out, huh? But order. this doesn't mean it's done. I mean, we would have a full trial on this. You subpoena Metro, DFS worker, we'll get more of the records. We'll look at the hospital records. But just based on my impression of reviewing everything up until now, I would leave things status quo. Can I okay. Can we, can we move this to a date where he's old enough to speak in court? Please? I'm sorry? The, the trial, can we move it to a date where he is old enough to speak on? on? It's not before the court. Well, no. The answer is no. And February would give you time to get a lawyer if you want to get a lawyer. I do want to get a lawyer. Okay, so you have all of October, November, December, January. Four months. Okay. Can I just have the school? So I it's an ongoing here. thing. So right now, um... I'm not going to have a hearing because I'm going to leave it status quo, but if new evidence comes up, you may file a request for a hearing or motion for a hearing based on new evidence. In other words, if Metro is going to move on the case, if they're going to close it out, they're going to close it out. That's why it's going to be status quo. My anticipation is DFS, CPS records. I'll put a reminder to myself to get the updated records. And, um, Mom, you can get yours at the DFS office and counsel. <coughs> you could pick it up once we get the updated records. I'm going to say... I'm going to give him about a month to close out the case. It's going to be a closed out case, basically. Just because the word cigarette burn was used on, on there doesn't mean it was. The nurse wasn't even 100% positive, but they had to do what they had to do and make the report. The child, and because the child initially said it, but then when DFS talked to the child, he's saying grandma did it. And he don't know any better, but then we're looking also at the timing you know, yeah, grandma smokes, but she didn't have the kid for two weeks. Now, mom's telling me she quit smoking two months ago. So, somebody else did it. Is it did a ghost do it? Is it really a cigarette burn? I don't know what it is. And then these cuts. Yeah, and DFS explored it. But they're not going to take the kid away from the mom. Yeah. They weren't. So, that's what, yeah, I had specific findings on that. Your client, you better talk to your client. Mr. May I say something, Your Honor? Uh, hang on. I think you should talk to your lawyer first. Okay. 
All right, and then I got to get to my neck other cases. Friday, three o'clock. Sunday, the usual time, but here at the courthouse. I have to say this on the record, Mom. If you don't cooperate with the court order, obviously you're saying what you're saying. You will be found in potential contempt for contempt for court. They will find an order to show cause. And then if they get the pickup order, you're going to make it worse for yourself. Because if they have the pickup order, we have to fill in a court date, and she gets to keep the kid 100% until the next court date. Uh, she doesn't know where he is. Okay. But I try to set those right away. And, okay. and we, have, we have a law. You can lose custody if you kidnap, go on the run, and hide your kid. And you'll be, well, I suppose the school district will be looking for him also. You can't hide him forever. Can you? And I wouldn't want to be saying that kind of stuff on the record. Why? Because I want to protect my child and you won't? You have never protected him. All right. Never. Now she's getting into contempt of court. You should get out of here, out of my courtroom, before I'm going to have you thrown in jail we, for we, we need to know where to pick Daddy? up on Friday, Your Honor. Are you going to stand Excuse me. And you said the school, Grandma doesn't know the school, so we need to, to, I need to, that to put it in the order. Here. What is the name of the school? I forgot. That is very contemptuous talk. I'll okay. My child. You are, well, well, she doesn't. I'll she tell you what. The, child right now. the purpose of um, number one, I'm giving you a chance to explain why you won't give the name of the school. Because she's burning my son and cutting him. My son told me that. Okay. I and I have already, I've I'm already had my son. All right. I let you say what you say. I've already made my rulings on that. And DFS found it. Found out they're not. They're they made their findings. I've made my findings. Uh, second of all, she's entitled to her court-ordered visitation. Uh, third of all, this is not criminal contempt, ma'am. This is civil contempt. Civil contempt, and the lawyer knows this, means it is to get a person to compel to comply with court orders, not defy and violate court orders. Um, one possibility is to incarcerate you until the child is turned over, and you can stay there up to 25 days. I will bring you here on the 24th day and you can remain in jail for another 25 days until you turn the child over. You'd rather do that? Then let my child go into her custody ever again? Absolutely. I am going to protect my son. She's burning my child. Okay, and because you are going to be in jail, there is nobody to care for your child, and I will make... My mom. I will make a determination. Oh, by the way, I also wrote, well, I signed over my rights right. to my mom. Okay, and is your mom going to go on the run also? No. Or is she going to keep taking this kid to school? Because then grandma, paternal grandmother and her the attorney will eventually find out where your school is located because they will just get a subpoena for oh, records from court. And once they pick up, child, and once they pick up the child, then you can be released from in custody. Okay. I'm not going to let her burn my kid again. Not happening. I, I think, based on her comments, we'd ask the court to reconsider. The maximum, I okay. This is do, this is direct. Temporary custody. Number one, the court hereby finds this is direct contempt of court, based on her admissions in the courtroom. Number two, the maximum I can hold her is 25 days. However, she has the the purge clause, as required by the Nevada Supreme Court, is for her to release the child to grandmother. Um, I'm sorry, release the school information to the grandmother. I am going to ask you, counsel, to get immediate um, information by way of a subpoena from the Clark County School District to locate the child by Friday. Okay. And can we have an now, alternative? If you get that school information, you as an officer of the court have a duty to file notification with the court and call my office that you found the school before Friday. You do have a court order to pick up the child from school. If mom or the grand maternal grandmother hold, uh, I'm sorry, hide the child from school, then you have your pickup order to locate the child or we'll report the child as a missing person. I hope we don't have to go that far. Can we put in? The mom order? can purge and get released from jail as soon as she releases the name of the school. Otherwise, grandma, mater paternal grandma, and her attorney will need a couple days to get a, um, and you will walk through a subpoena order for release of records from the Clark County School District and look up Preston under his date of birth and full name and you'll get the name of the school. Can we maybe put in the pickup order an alternative address if the child... If we I'll don't tell get you what, I think you can get that information. I may not have to send mom in 
but I'm going to give her a chance to release that information to you voluntarily. But if you had to get it involuntarily and get the school name, you have the authority to pick up the child from school and get that order in place. Today's Monday. You've got until Friday to work on that. Everything in place, and the school wants certified orders. Can I pick them up today? Should Your authority is to pick up on every yeah, other so Friday. We could figure out that every other Friday, starting this Friday, October. Can I just pick no. up What's the date? Well, my dress is pulled up. Okay. October 12th. With cameras sitting there. Okay. Have some respect for a lady. And as far as the drug test that was ordered, is, are we able to take. The no, we're going to release mom to do the drug test immediately. If she doesn't go, she'll be deemed a dirty. You oh, too, grandma, right. if you don't go, you'll be deemed a dirty. But isn't she being taken into custody? No. Because I, you're going to get the school records, the school information, and walk through a subpoena order to have it disclosed to you forthwith. And we'll see her level of cooperation. We're going to give her a chance. Okay. Okay? She'll be released. Because I think you can get the school records where Preston goes to school and submit the order to them. Make sure it's clear. She's only authorized to pick up every other Friday starting on October 12th. Do that. I have broken ribs, sir. No, she do you want left side file? Do you want one of them to go first for the testing? Left side the file. I'm sorry. Do you want one of them to go first for the testing given the conflict? Somebody's going to have to have a head start. I would say paternal grandmother. Martin, you think I'm going to send the grandma for a head drug test first? Give a head start and then. It's only a five minute test. Take the referral orders with you. I'll let my marshal handle the timing of it. Okay. Excuse me, is she getting arrested? Your attorney will.